guys over here, Public Law 105-85, established November 18, 1997, the same time the chemtrails have started appearing in the skies overhead, and it's gotten considerably worse over the last five to ten years, uh, definitely dumping a lot more on us right now. Um, here is a public law, public law 105-85 simply states, and I'm going to scroll down, and I got a lot of more information here for you all, to definitely prove to you, beyond a reasonable doubt, that they are spraying this stuff. These are chemical, biological agents. It is bio-warfare being carried out on American people as I speak. Um, as I speak, they're in my sky. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, I got this report. I got the information. This is public law, so anybody can view it. But not everybody knows how to find it. But they do consider this, being that this is public law, as a consent by the American people for the carry out of this project. Now, you can read this right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm sorry, I just passed it. Um, restrictions on the use of human subjects for testing of chemical and biologic or biological agent, agents. Now, it says here, prohibited activities, the Secretary, Secretary of Defense may not conduct directly or by contract any test experiment involving use of chemical or agent, biological agent, or a civilian population. Now, okay, you're saying, okay, well, that says you can't. But if you scroll down here, um, informed consent required. Informed consent required. Secretary, Secretary of Defense may conduct a test or experiment described in subsection B as we just talked about. Okay, only in informed consent to the testing was obtained from each human subject in advance of the testing on that subject. Now again, being that this is public law, they consider this a human consent. Prior notice to Congress, no later than 30 days after the date of final approval with the Department of Defense, Dodd, of plans for any experiment or study to be conducted by Dodd, whether directly or under contract, involving the use of human subjects for the testing of a chemical agent or a biological agent. Folks, we are being sprayed. The Secretary of Defense shall submit to the Committee on Armed Services of the Senate and the Committee on National Security of the House of Representatives to report setting forth a full accounting of those plans, which I'm sure they have by now. And the experiment or study may then be conducted only after the end of the 30-day period. Well, I'm sure that's long expired. On the date such report is received by those committees. Biological agent defined. In this section, the term biological agent means microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi. Those of you that live in Joplin. Viruses. There it is. Fungi. You see it right there. Um, whatever this is, ricketsiac and, and, and another disease there. Pathogens or infectious substance or any natural occurring bioengineering or synthesized component of any such microorganism, pathogen or infectious substance, whatever is origin or method of production that is capable of causing, now I, this is very alarming, death disease um, or other biological malfunctions, right there, death disease, malfunction, any, any, or any other biological malfunctions in a human or animal or a plant or another living organism. Think of some of these animals dying, folks. Deterioration of food, water, equipment, supplies, or materials of any kind. Um, contaminating our food supply. Then it says alteration of the environment. You see this? Alteration of the environment. Report of certification, 16, section 1703 of the National Defense. Dodd, authorization for the fiscal year 1994. This is going back. Now, I wanted to show you this. I also want to show you this. U.S. allows testing of chemical and biological agents on civilian populations. Now, this is the public law 105-85. Um, you're seeing right here, dated November 18, 1997, use of human subjects for testing of chemical or biological agents. Sections 1708, restrictions on the use of humans, <coughs> pardon me, subjects for testing. Now, basically, in other words, if you read this, in other words, the U.S. government can test chemical and biological agents on humans for nearly any purpose they desire. And being that this is public law, folks, it is hereby considered at their consent that they need by both parties. The following should also be noted. The term biological agent, as stated above in A, Section 1 is defined in Section E as follows. Now, you can go ahead and read this yourself. I'll have a link here. Biological agent defined. Fungi, and it goes, mentions all the diseases. 
Okay, in other words, the U.S. government can test chemical and biological agents on humans that cause death, biological malfunction, and alterous alterations of the environment. Folks, please wake up. Are you going to let them kill us and spray these chemicals, which can cause serious, seriously bodily harm or death on us and our children? Or is it time to fight back? Folks, this is Public Law 105-85. There's This is page 287 that contains this this excerpt that you can read yourself. Read about actual human chemical testing programs currently in operation. Public Law 105-85 that clearly states it, folks. Okay? Now here we go. I'm going to show you some pictures that you've seen many, many times. Here's pictures of planes and chemtrails in the sky, different patterns. You see all this? Now let me tell you, where is this happening? The phenomenon, this phenomenon is occurring in most industrialized countries of the world, including U.S., Canada, England, Scotland, Germany, Norway, New Zealand, and Australia. Now, they are saying that there are no chemtrails being seen anywhere in China. What do chemtrails contain? Several independent tests in the U.S. have shown that the chemtrails have contained the following substances. Aluminum, magnesium, barium, barium salts, lead, arsenic, uranium, sharp titanium shards, mercury, mold spores, uh, microplasma, an unidentified bacteria such as the Joplin, maybe contamination, the fungi that's affecting people. Now that fungi sits in the soil, folks, and when someone has a cut, it gets into the skin. Now some say, if you research that, that it's a natural disease that's actually in the soil. Or could this, this spraying of this fungi or bacteria, they know that it's sitting in the soil, and they knew this tornado was going to hit, and they knew this disease was going to spread. You know what, just add one plus one and equals two. Okay, these substances being sprayed in a large plumes by silver and white military jets are harmful to human and animal life. Some of the aspects of this toxicity are covered in a section below. Mercury. Mercury is the most toxic, folks, radioactive metal known. Mercury accumulates in the body and causes a myriad of toxic effects, eventually leading to chronic degenerative disease and eventually death. Diseases and conditions associated with mercury are... You can read these yourself. I'm not going to go through them all, but a few of them are many, many, many diseases, including um, uh, upper respiratory infections, I believe, all kinds of diseases, depression, suicide, uh, hyperglycemia, uh, heart disease, high cholesterol, cancer. So mold, barium, aluminum. It goes on, and this article here will tell you all what's being sprayed and what the effects are. Sinus pain, headaches, fatigue, um all kinds of issues, uh, irritability, um, chemtrail origins, conventional chemtrails or trails left behind. Now, I'm not going to read all that. You can read it. Consent. This is important right here, folks. It is known that public law in the U.S. allows the testing of chemicals and biologic biologics on American citizens with their consent. Now, concerns arise when we, real, we, when we realize the true meaning of what consent is in this context. Consent can be considered to be a condition that exists when both parties have acknowledge of the terms of an agreement or neither party openly uh, objects to it. Uniform Commercial Code UCC. I'm sure some of you are aware of that. Because this law is public or available for review publicly, it is assumed, right here folks, it is assumed that the public is um, agreeing to this law, to the activity stated in the law under the UCC. Now, that this is why it is often said ignorance of the law is no excuse. If it is published, it is assumed that you are aware of it. If you are aware of it and you don't openly object, you are agreeing to it. Now time, it is time folks to object to this. We haven't objected to this. So they assumed, assuming that we are agreeing to this. Therefore, Dodd has their consent to spray on us. Folks, you have consented to chemtrails. We all have. How's that make you feel? Okay, now these are health solutions. Um, and you can go ahead and read all this. I'm not going to um, go through it right now. Um, but also, I want to read this to you. It has to do with Joplin. The research of Clifford, uh, and this guy, Carnonicum, Will Thomas, and others have exposed chemtrails as a primary vehicle through, okay, through which Margellans, which are things that are being sprayed, modified molds, fungi, and numerous other pathog pathogens, and nanoparticularized toxins have been sprayed into the global population. Folks, fungi has been sprayed into the global population. 
goes on to say here, an area that biowarfare or population reduction research funded by the Department of Defense, DOD, is reported to have focused on its pathogens that are race-specific. The SARS outbreak of a few years back infected mostly those of Asian descent. Now, the World Health Organization has been caught on several occasions in recent years vaccinating women of childbearing age in the third world countries with vaccines that promoted sterility. Now, you can go ahead and read this article, too, if you want. I'm not going to go through it all. My final conclusion here, folks, is that uh, we are under attack by biowarfare. We are under attack, and most likely this is, I would say, it seems to me, like a depopulation and possibly a weather control um, spray, but it seems to me more like a depopulation attack on the American people. And because of this public law, 105-85, PL, 105-85, 105-85, type in your search menu, or again, it'll be under the description of this video, read it yourself. It seems to me that um, the strange guys we see above with the chemtrails floating everywhere is for depopulation of the American people. Over the next 30, 40 years, I had a good source come to me today and hand me this information. A very uh, vocal person um, with his eyes wide open to what's going on in the world, it's almost sent to me, almost like a godsend. Came out of the clear blue, a very good source, I'd say, and gave me this information, told me to read this law, and put me in contact with somebody else that's in charge of the, um, we'll call the grand jury, which is uh, um, a group of American citizens it, it should, where it should be we the people, by the people, for the people. Right? Well, that's the grand jury. We the people, by the people, for the people. God bless you all, folks. I wanted to get this to you. I will have more on this very soon. God bless you.